Hi there, my name is Dave Jewell. I'm a former Air Force Survival Evasion Resistance and Escape Instructor. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate how to repair the military lensatic compass. The dials will tend to stick over time and on occasion the lenses will also get, uh, get foggy. You can see my basic tools, screwdriver, pocket knife, a pencil, as well as a, uh, a napkin to help wipe, wipe the, uh, help wipe the lens off. On the bottom of the compass, you'll see there are four screws. We're going to want to remove all four of these screws. If you're in field conditions, make sure that you keep these suckers uh, in, a, in a safe place where you're repairing the compass, otherwise you may have problems later when it comes time to re reassemble. You only need two of them to keep it together. Ideally, if you have all four, it's much, much better. <clears throat> okay, once you've removed all four screws, going to take your pocket knife, or if you don't have a pocket knife, a small uh, Leatherman with a file will work. You just pry up underneath this little edge right here. That will take the cap off. That's going to expose the, uh, rubber, the uh, rubber dust cap that holds the entire compass together. Now you're going to take your pocket knife, insert it into the side, and you're just going to pry up gently. And once you pry it all the way around, it'll bring the entire compass out. Okay, at this point, when you dump your compass upside down, it's gonna knock that little piece of plastic out. This is where you can take the chance to actually clean the inside of the lens. So if there's any moisture in there. Now we're gonna take a look at our dust cap right here. We're going to push the top of the lens sideways and that's gonna cause it to pop out. So now I wanna take my lens cap, I'm gonna clean this baby off. The outside edges of the, uh, the cap or the cover right there have a bevel to them. This becomes important later. Drop your floating dial out and now take a look at your the inside right here. This little metal tab is a locking device. Just pry it up and break it out. We don't need it. It's for locking the dial in place but it's actually part of the problem. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go in here to the actual needle in the center. You're going to take your pocket knife and you're just going to scrape upwards all the way around. And you're going to bring that back to a nice sharp point. Once you've got it back up to a nice sharp point, now we're going to take the dial. We're going to put the dial, I'm sorry, correction. Before we do that, we're going to take a pencil. We're just going to put some graphite on the inside of our dial to help lubricate it. And then we're going to put our dial on. You'll see that our dial free floats now with no problems. Now, reassembly. This is very, very important. There's a luminous patch um, underneath the, uh, the dial. When you put the lens or the plastic cap back over the top of it, you're going to rotate it sideways. And then you need to make sure that the stationary index line, that's the black line on there, is dead center, dead center in the compass itself. And then when I go to reinstall, I just slide that back in just like so. There's a little tiny squared off area right there, make sure that's toward the bottom. Double check to make sure that the stationary index line is actually centered. And then all we have to do is just reassemble. So when you go to reassemble, make sure to put that little plastic piece back in there. It's just a placeholder. And then from there, I'm going to assemble the bottom right here. I'm going to insert all of my screws and then I'm going to tighten them up appropriately. So the rest is self-explanatory. So once again, great, uh, great and simple tool to take care of your, uh, your compass easy to maintain, easy to use, the end.